Welcome to the DMX 512 basic tutorial. DMX 512 has 512 discrete addresses. DMX controllers send a value on each address. These values range from 0 to 255. Some controllers use sliders to change the values. The value transmitted on a particular address is determined by the position of the corresponding slider. An audio to DMX converter uses music to determine the values sent to each channel. Light fixtures can receive these DMX values, but they have to be configured correctly. Light fixtures usually have several DMX modes. Your light's manual will have DMX charts like this one with instructions for selecting the mode. Be sure you know how to set the DMX mode on your lights. It's super important. This particular light is an RGB PAR. In three channel mode, it receives data on only three channels. In 7-channel mode, it receives on all 7 channels. When using an audio to DMX converter, you should use the mode that only controls colors, not macros, strobes, and other items. For this RGB PAR, that means using the 3-channel mode. If your light doesn't have a colors only kind of mode, it may still work, but you need to check the PFX manual or contact Eon Raven to see if it's compatible. The next vital element is the start address. The start address assigns the light to a position in the DMX512 universe. You can point your light to any address along the 512 address lineup. The first channel of the light now receives data from address 5 of the controller. You can also add multiple lights that can be controlled independently. Giving each light a different start address gives you that freedom. In this example, light A is at start address 1, light B at 4, C at 7, and D at 10. Setting the mode and start address correctly is vital to getting DMX to work for you. If you are using a DMX Blackbird PFX edition, there are multiple ways to set the lights. Setting all the lights to start address 22 puts them in all-in-one style. Different kinds of lights need to be set at their specific start addresses. The PFX manual has charts for matching lights to the right address. Another way of setting up the lights is to assign each one to a specific color. This is called Static Banks Style. We'll use the three channel RGB PARs as an example. We're going to assign PAR A to the red color bank. Its start address is 124. PAR B to the blue color bank, start address 132. PAR C to the green color bank, start address 140. And lastly, PAR D to the amber color bank, start address 148. Even though these are RGB PARs, the fourth PAR can be assigned to amber, since the PFX will synthesize amber on that PAR. You can have as many PARs on each address as you want.
Another way is the dynamic bank's style. The only change is the start addresses. Not only can you have as many lights as you want at each address, but you can assign lights to all the styles simultaneously. With as many as you want in each style. This is what makes DMX and the PFX edition so powerful. With simple PAR lights, you can create an absolutely spectacular show. Lights will usually save their configurations, so you don't have to enter the numbers every time. You may need to press enter on the fixture in order for them to save though. If your light cannot be put into a colors only mode, don't worry, the PFX can accommodate many lights. Contact Eon Raven for information. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. DMX can be confusing at first, but it's worth it to learn. Thanks for watching.